Hi, I'm Brian Chong from Syntax Technologies. In today's lesson, I'll talk about Sales and Service Tax SST concept versus Accounting System. Now, the first thing that you must understand is the five SST key point. The first one is SST got exemption. So the exemptions may need to apply. Second, SST got different tax rate, got exemptions, 5%, 10% for sales tax, and also 6% for service tax. Third one, different item have different tariff code. And tariff code is a compulsory things inside sales tax. And every service have own service type code, which is very similar like tariff code for item. The whole idea of SST is for us to able to fill up a form called SST02, which is similar like GST03 in GST era. This is for us to declare our SST and submit to custom and pay the money. And last one, tax code. Although tax code, it is not stated in any order, any act, but tax code is a compulsory things inside any accounting system to ease or to help us to fill up the SST02 form. So please remember these five SST key points. Now, if you want to know about the different rates for different items, you may come to this particular website sst.custom.gov.my slash general guide over here you are able to get this order or listing which have all the item listed out with the respective tax rate example popcorn is five percent plain oats it's five percent Oats containing cocoa is 10%. Milk powder preparation is exempted. Muffin is exempted. So now you can see that different item may have different tax rate. So read through the listing and find your own item. And for exemptions, there's three schedule that's very important. It's called Schedule A, B, and C. To get all this schedule, you can go to Custom SST website and go into Exemptions. And you can apply for exemptions over here also. Another place is important is go to Custom website about exemptions. Over here, you will see a list of all the Schedule C listing okay that you can apply here also another place that is important for you is under SST areas and one of them is called sales tax rate of tax inside you'll see another listing for different item with tariff code which is accepted now then we need to know about tariff code. To know your item tariff code, you may come to this website and then search for the tariff code of your item. Example, you can search by using the item description. Over here, I'm using popcorn as an example. And by typing popcorn as the keyword using such criteria as item descriptions, when I search it, you'll get the tariff code for popcorn. You can do the same for your own item. If you cannot find your item, then you may need to go to custom and request or get their help for the tariff code of your own item. 
service type code. For all the service which is SSD taxable and you are SSD registration, then all the service must have own service type code. It's very similar like tariff code for item. So this will be the listing. Example, if you are under accommodations, then what you need to do is just get this code as your service code. Example for syntax technologies, we are providing IT service and syntax is SSD registrant. So my service type code will be 9907.10.1676. This will be syntax service type code for our maintenance. This is for other service provider. Again, the whole idea is for us to fill up SSD 02 form. When you go to this form, you can see all the fields and compare with GSC 03 form. Personally, I would think that this form is very, very difficult to fill if you are not using an accounting system. So, to me, even though there's no rule saying that it's compulsory to use accounting system, but personal opinion, it is compulsory. Because I don't see any way for you to do the SST manually. It's just too complicated. Okay? Because from here you can see that for B1 section, part B1, there's number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you can see that over here, there is different type of service or goods that taxable and you providing this type of goods or service and you need to put in the tariff code or service type code meaning for all taxable item or taxable service you must have the tariff code or the service type code later i'll teach you how to set it inside your accounting system then the value of the item or service if it is for own use then what is the value and this is the service so for part b2 it is for sales dispose and own use part c is for the extensions And the list go on. So that's why I will say that it is very important for you to have a accounting system which is compliant with SST in Malaysia if you are SST registered. For our demo purpose, I will be using SQL accounting system. Please make sure your SQL accounting system must be under version 764 at least version 764 if you are using older version please contact your dealer to upgrade the versions because only from this version onwards we have the tax code which is necessary for all the transaction if you do not have any maintenance with dealer or you are thinking to change dealer you are welcome to contact us to sign our annual maintenance so that we can able to help you to upgrade and answer all your queries regarding SQL or SST because Syntax Technologies is also a SST registration. We understand SST. Now, under SQL, of course, the SST02 will have to different schedule even purchase you need to have tax code accordingly and this is the current available tax code in SQL accounting system if you are not using SQL then your accounting system may have different tax code but no worry there's no correct or wrong just that different accounting system might use different tax code to 
enter your transaction amount or the tax amount into SST 02 form respective field. So over here you can see that for sales tax 10%, we are using ST, sales tax 5% is ST5. Then you have different kind of exemptions for sales and also purchase. That's why you must understand clearly what is the tax code to be used. To do that, you must be able to understand what is different kind of exemptions. Is it applicable to you or not during your sales or even purchase? So you can see that mostly is for sales tax and for service tax is quite straightforward. It's just whether it's as we sales uh, service tax 6% or for own use or for disposed service tax 6%. What you need to do in SQL accounting system, there are five main things. You need to go to tools, maintain tariff code to maintain all the tariff code that are applicable to you. This is by going to tools, maintain tariff. So new, you can maintain different tariff code. Example, this is one of the example of tariff code. Okay. Or you want to use the dot if you want to. Save it. So then you maintain one tariff code. If you have different tariff code because you are having different item, then you must maintain all the tariff code over here. So that will be your first step. Then you need to main, go to stock, maintain stock item to assign the tariff code to respective item. Example, you need to go to stock, maintain stock item. Let's say you have an item. Go to here. And you can see there is a new field called tariff code. This is where you select the respective tariff code. By doing this, when you key in transactions, system able to capture the tariff code and put it back to SSD 02 form when you processing the SSD return later. Third one, maintain customer, enter the tax code, normally it's for exemption, and the exemption number if applicable, meaning that if your customer do not have exemptions, nothing special, you do not need to do the step. You need to repeat the same things for your supplier side. If you apply for exemptions and you're exempt from paying or from your supplier charging you sales tax during your purchase, then you need to maintain this in your maintain supplier. So how to go about? Just go to customer, maintain customer. Example, this customer, go to tax field. Over here, you can maintain the exemption number, the expiry date, or you can select different tax code which applicable to you. So this is under maintains customer. If your customer showing you they are exempted or somehow they are exempted, they show you the exemption number or the cert and so on, then you need to maintain that over here. Else you need to manually do it in during transaction, which is very troublesome. So I highly recommend you to put it under maintain customer. The same things apply to supplier meaning that if you already apply for exemption for purchasing from a particular supplier because of the item then what you need to do is maintain supplier go to tax over here also you can select different tax code so over here you can select purchase tax exam under schedule c item one two three four or five you must know what is all this about, okay? Then what is your exemption number or maybe the expiry date, okay? 
So this is for your purchasing exemption. Then the fifth one is design invoice. Okay, this is for exemption is a new field. So meaning meaning that during design of your invoice example, let's go to an invoice and it's exempted. Let's say your customer is exempted. So what you need to do is during your invoice, you need to go to design and go to field chooser, create a new field. This is under document company. Text exam number SST exemption number safe as always safe as another format. So over here, you can get this exemption number. You may get the help from your dealer to help you to do this. Now, remember this only applicable to those client that is exempted. And if you are SSD registrant, of course. So this is the thing you must remember to do and you should start to do now because it's not easy to maintain all the tariff code for all your item if you have a lot of item. Okay. Then you need to find out whether you are exempted from purchasing or your customer is exempted from, from you to charge him uh, sales tax and things like that. So please remember, please sign annual maintenance because continuous upgrade is compulsory. Why I say so? Example, now is 764. But you are not able to process SSD return or the SSD 02 form. And SSD keep on changing. So that's why you should have a maintenance with your dealer to enjoy the continuous upgrade. So once again, if you're feeling that our service or syntax technology is able to help you for your SSD, then or maybe you are not SSD registered, you want to know more about SQL accounting system and things like that, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian Chung from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.